So, so far, all the things we've been talking about are corrections that affect the entire image. They, whatever you do, it affects every pixel in your picture. And those are called primary color corrections. And yes, that has nothing to do with primary colors. Just forget about that. But there's another kind of correction called a secondary color correction. And a secondary color correction is where you correct just one part of your image. And typically that's limited by one of two things, either by a particular color or a particular shape. And so for secondary color corrections, let's start by talking about using a color to correct, uh, to, to limit the correction. So we've got this clip selected over here and there's the first correction that we applied and they see it says correction one and that's applied currently to the whole image. We now are gonna add a second correction and I'm gonna do that by clicking this little plus button. I click this add correction button and it adds a second correction. So now I have number two down here. And in this one, I can click one of these two little indicators here to limit the correction to be just for based on a color or a shape. And so first let's gonna talk about color. I'm gonna click the add color mask button. And what happens is uh, basically you get this little slider here, but if I roll my pointer over the picture, I get an eyedropper. And I'm gonna click and hold with my eyedropper. And as I drag, with my eyedropper, I'm just clicking and holding and dragging here, I'm selecting a range of color. And so depending on where I click, you can see I'm getting this, this range of green of that background. And then if I wanna add to that, I'm gonna press the shift key and I'm gonna click down here to add this little part too to make sure that we're selecting the entire green area of the image. Now that range has been selected, and if I go into the color board here and I start making changes, I'm making changes that are limited to only that area. So you see, I'm taking that green selection and I'm turning it pink or blue or whatever color we wanna do with it. And that is how you make a correction based on a specific color. You can add more corrections to select additional colors. So I'm just gonna add another mask another correction rather, and then in the correction, click the add color mask button, go to my eyedropper, and now I'm gonna use this, select this yellow, click and drag to select the yellow. And as I'm doing that, you see if I go too far, it starts to affect other parts of the image. It's a, it got some of the skin tone, it got some of this orange down here. So I wanna remove some of that orange. I'm gonna press the option key, and now I get a little minus, and I'm gonna drag here, to remove any of this orange from the selection. And it was, and we also got some of the green, so let's deselect the green by pressing option, drag on that, and now we're getting just that nice yellow area. We've got just the yellow. The correction two is getting the blue, correction three is getting the yellow, and if I go in there and I make changes now, I'm changing just that little yellow box, right? So let's take the yellow box and turn it orange or whatever we wanna do with it. Uh, make it green, and you know, so the, the one correction was getting the background, the second correction is getting this area here, and each of them are separate, and then we can turn them on and off independently. You can also delete a correction entirely, just select the word correction there, and then press the delete key, and that will just delete that correction entirely.